Hey, what's up, Tim? Buddy from Capstrano Volkswagen, the sales and internet manager. I finally got that SEL over here to send you that video. Great vehicle. Um, I have a R line I just picked up last week, and my daughter has the SE Tiguan. Uh, just great uh, prices on these vehicles right now, and also a super, super safe vehicle. Cheaper insurance, which blows me away compared to my Passat. But in the front on the SEL, you do get the autonomous braking just in case of uh, something uh, is going in front of the car, pulls out of a parking lot in front of you, you brakes automatically, uh, slow down the vehicle, and uh, protect you just in case you're not paying attention. Also, we do have the fog lights on the bottom, and this one does have the parking sensors all the way around the vehicle, which is nice, even the sides of the vehicle. Uh, with the SEL, you also do get the nicer, bigger wheels on the car. Also, the roof racks on top, instead of black, they are chrome to match the chrome accents around the rest of the vehicle. You also do have the blind spot monitoring sensors right here on the inside of the mirror. Um, last year, they used to be right here. They did about a 68 yard. Um, if someone was in your blind spot, it would pick it up and it kind of flash just in case uh, you wanted to get into the other lane. But with the 2020, which is better, um, it's a 285 yard um, um, radar that goes out and the cool thing is just in case besides them being in your uh, blind spot monitoring uh, in your blind spot also if they try and pull into your car now the new Tiguan actually pulls away from the accident so that's the upgrade for the 2020 also it does have a four year 50,000 bumper to bumper and uh, three or 36 of roadside assistance the cool thing is the first two years of maintenance um, is taken care of on uh, all Volkswagens uh, this one does have the parking sensors. You can still see. I brought it up earlier, but you can see them on the bumper back there. You do have the two chrome tailpipes. It kind of is just for the looks of the car. Um, but one great thing about the SEL is you do have the panoramic roof from front to back. And with the SEL, you do have the power rear gate. That is height, uh, height adjusted. You can kind of put it higher or lower. Uh, the great thing about the Tiguan as well, besides the new body style for uh, the 2018 year all the way up to now, this does offer a third row. If you got a uh, four motion, which is an all-wheel drive, it wouldn't offer it to you, uh, but everything um, that's a regular two-wheel drive vehicle comes with a third row. So I have a third row back there, um, have some Velcro blocks, also do have uh, spring-loaded seats right here, and uh, a little bit... Uh, stuff in the back just in case you are using a third row like cup holders Let me pull one side up so you can kind of see what that looks like with the third row I call it five plus two because only little kids will be sitting in the back of this car My 10 year old has no problem sitting in the back of my Tiguan But that's what the seat looks like just in case once again if we're not going to use it It gives you that much more room. Uh, it's 12 inches longer than the uh, previous Tiguan uh, Shutting in the back Boop, Just a little bit of button also has pinch protection on that, sunroof and all the windows all the way around the car as well. Uh, one of my favorite features of the car is rear traffic. Uh, me and my wife are always at Target. If you're backing out with the car, it's really cool. You have a radar on the back of the vehicle, kind of doing this. It's kind of looking to see if any cars are coming down the aisle. If it picks up a vehicle, it's actually going to give you a small little beep inside the car. If you do not stop, it's actually going to apply the brakes for you so you do not get rear-ended. Uh, another great thing about the Tiguan, all the engines are the same. Uh, we do have the 2.0 turbo inside doing 30 miles per gallon. That's why I love my car. Using cheap gas only. So, uh, very, very nice. Platinum gray, gray interior. Here's the car. You know what? Let's jump inside as well. Uh, great thing about this car, it is keyless access. Cassie. Uh, so if the keys are in your pocket, like they're in my pocket right now, uh, if I touch the dimple on the door with my finger, it locks the vehicle. If I do it a second time, it actually gives me a confirmation beep. Now, with this one, if I put my hand around the handle, it locks for my touch. But if I let go and grab it again, what that does is it opens the people in the back seat. Ha <laughs> ha! So, if I get inside the car... Um, I also do have a feature where if I hold down the number one window position before I get in, say if it's a hot day, I'll have all the windows and the sunroof open and let all the hot air creep out of the vehicle. Uh, getting inside the car, you do have an eight-way power seat with power lumbar support. Rubber mats inside the car. Uh, dual climate control. Um, his and hers. Uh, my wife's always hot. I'm always cold. Uh, so we can switch it up inside the car. 
Uh, it also does have heated seats with Volkswagen. It's the full seat. So from the top of your back all the way down to the bottom of your leg, it's all heated. Push the button start, electronic parking brake, and you do get the big uh, infotainment center right up here. Uh, with the SEL, you do get a little bit more upgrade because it also does have the navigation system built inside the vehicle. Uh, all of our cars have the Android Auto. That means if you plug in your Apple phone or uh, Samsung phone, it's pretty much going to uh, mirror to the screen of the car, your navigation system, and all your other good things. Uh, with this one, it's going to have the navigation already built in. This is when the screen's off, the extra clocks you get to kind of pick between, which is pretty sweet. With it on, everything kind of works like your phone. It's all touchscreen. Uh, you have the navigation system. I bet you have the disc inside. Um, so the navigation displays here. The cool thing is I'll have a little map button that I can touch, and it displays the uh, navigation on the full digital uh, display up here. Um, with this, you could actually switch up the tachometer, speedometer, and move it, and kind of put stuff in the middle like gas, point A to point B, you can kind of pick whatever you want, which is really nice about the SEL. You uh, customize the screen for you. Um, you do have voice command going through the whole vehicle. Um, also, you do have auto lights, fog lights as well. Wallet holders, my favorite friend. Big cup holders in the door, small cup holders in the middle. Um, and this one has the new uh, self dimmer view mirror with automatic windshield wiper and uh, built in compass and garage door on the bottom. It's an upgrade. Uh, you do get a screen that covers the top, but pushing a button will open it up. Um, everyone from the second to the third row will definitely enjoy it because it's a panoramic roof that covers the whole car. Um, the front glass tilts, the front glass opens. You know what, let's take you to the second row. room I'm 62 I'm a tall boy I got a lot of room our outlets um, air in the back a lot of room beautiful seats armrest cup holder all right that's the SEL another cool thing I can do is Menu, no actually car, setup, uh, open and close, all windows, bam, turn off the car, I get out the vehicle, I'm up, sweet, alright, so I left the sunroof open just in case I left the windows open since the keys in my pocket, now that I hold my finger on the lock, it's gonna lock everything inside the car with my finger on the outside of the car. All the windows and my sunroof from the outside position. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, man. Send the video to you right now. I'm here all day. 760-415-6331. Take care.